Companies are constantly reaching out to f-stoppers and they wanna send us gear to review. And this box was actually mailed to me months ago, maybe six months ago, maybe longer. And I actually just found it today. It's been holding up a monitor over here. So let's open this up together. I think it's a light, but honestly, I don't know anything other than that. Let's see what it is. But first, I wanna thank our sponsor, ACDC's Gemstone Photo Editor 12. If you're looking for a way to edit those raw files, but you don't wanna spend a monthly fee with Adobe or learn new, really complicated software, definitely check out Gemstone Photo Editor 12. This software is incredibly powerful. It can do many of the things photographers need from Adobe programs and more. And best of all, it is significantly cheaper. If you hate being locked into monthly fees, you can purchase this software one time for $80 and have it for life. But don't take my word for it and don't spend any money right now. Head over to the link in the description. You can check out the software 100% for free today. There's an air pump in with the light. There's no explanation of how to put it together. It says it's made by Aparo, and it's called the Radi 09 Air. So maybe this light or the modifier is inflatable. I don't know, let's see if we can figure out how to put it together. Really interesting mechanism. It's like a ball head, but then we've got a standard screw down you know, that you'd find on a light stand, but you can position this in any direction. I really like that. It's so weird how many different pieces of black fabric there are. There's two here, then there's this one, then there's this one. <laughs> there's two here. What in the world? I found a uh, hole. This is a pretty wimpy sounding uh, pump, but maybe it doesn't need to be very strong. We're not blowing up a bed here, we're blowing up a soft box. Here we go. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got a grid. The grid was pretty slick. It literally just popped right open. Uh, the issue will be figuring out how to get it to go back in the case, but uh, it certainly popped open very easily. I still don't know what all of these pieces of black fabric do. I mean, does this become a larger softbox? It, it feels like it would, but there's no more to this. I don't have any other pieces to attach. I gotta look this product up online. Oh, okay. So I found the product online. This is made by Falcon Eyes. We've done lots of reviews of uh, other lights of theirs. The black piece can act as a giant hood almost um, to channel the light straight down. I think this would be one of these lights that you would see on a film set that they would place over the top of a table and you might have like a bunch of people eating or something and instead of having a chandelier, this would kind of act as that style of light. Uh, right out of the box, it has that dome on it that would shoot light everywhere. The, uh, the grid obviously would angle that straight down and then you also have the option of that hood that you could place around it and really angle the light down as well. So this light is not cheap, it's $700, but as far as I can tell, it's the cheapest of this series. They actually make one that's $1,700, oh my gosh. All right, it appears they have sent me the wrong power cable. Uh, obviously, I can't plug this in anywhere. I don't have that adapter either, so I can't use this as it is. However, the power pack has a V-mount jack on the back. I think Patrick might have one of these at his house. 
Give me a second, I'm gonna run, see if I can find this battery and uh, we'll put this to the test. All right, guys, great success. I found both a battery and a cable. Why is it not turning on? Because it's not plugged in. All right, so controls seem pretty easy. We can uh, dim this all the way off, all the way up to 100%. Uh, we can color shift this from 5,600 Kelvin down to 3,000 Kelvin to create this warmer temperature. And uh, there's a blackout button, which is interesting. I don't know why it's just not like an off button, but uh, that works. And then if we click on menu here, we can go from Bluetooth to the scenes. And that's where we can cycle through different scenes like lightning or television or whatever, and the light will mimic these different scenes. You can change the speed and then the brightness of each scene. Right now, this is supposed to be lightning. Uh, lightning two, television. Maybe this could look like a television. If it was lighting a subject. Candlelight. Now, when I looked at this product online, there were more expensive, larger versions that were brighter and they were also RGB. I believe that this is not a full RGB light. It just color shifts a little bit through the, the most common color range. I do have to say it's nice having RGB lights, although it's very rare that we move out of the standard uh, you know, Kelvin temperature range. But occasionally when you need that neon blue or neon pink light, whatever it might be, it's pretty cool to have that built into a light and you don't have to go find some gel for it. One thing that I do really like about Falcon Eyes lights is they have an app on your phone you can connect two multiple lights over Bluetooth and then control them with the phone. This power pack also has DMX in and out and this cable that I was unsure of what it was, I was like, is this a mic cable? No, these are DMX cables. So if you wanna be able to control this with a board or another computer, you can actually wire it into a grid system and control it. And that, that's really how they do professional sets. So people don't have to walk up and touch an individual light. They can control it from a command center somewhere else. I'm just curious. Are there other inflatable lights like this on the market? So when I Google inflatable RGB light, a ton of them come up. These are all like toys or decorations or something. Uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. Outdoor construction factory portable inflatable balloon light. So there are some other inflatable light modifiers on the market. This one's interesting because the light itself, the LED panel, is built onto this fabric backing piece and it's built into the inflatable part. So it's kind of all one thing. The light and the modifier comes together as one piece. I've been trying to think of what my opinion of this product is. Uh, honestly, when I first saw it, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, like who wants an inflatable light? It's gonna pop when you need it most. Uh, but honestly, it did inflate very quickly and it does feel like it's much higher quality than I expected. So the question is, would I recommend this over a standard light with a standard strip box? And I think if you're trying to keep price in mind, I think you could get a strip box look for far cheaper than this. This is certainly not a super bright light. As you can tell, the power pack here isn't a very big one. And obviously these days you can get really cheap color shiftable LED lights and you could buy a super cheap softbox online and just pop it on basically any light and get a similar look to this. One benefit of this though, is that this is the thinnest strip box I think I've ever seen. I don't think they make strip boxes this narrow. So if you have a very specific use case and you need something that's this shape, this might be your only option. Although this is really well built, I think my biggest fear is that you show up to a shoot and the pump doesn't work, or you show up to a shoot and you pump it up, but there's a hole in it and it's slowly leaking while you're trying to film. That would be a massive problem and a problem that you would never have with a standard boring softbox. So in short, I am impressed with this light. It's better than I thought it would be, but for $700, I'm probably going to push you towards another light that you can get very similar 
light quality from, but you can probably also get much more light output from at a lower price.